Alright guys, um, as I said in the last video where I was spreading the fertilizer, I'd show you the GPS system we're using. I'll do that in a separate video. So this is it here now. It's uh, worked off the Trimble system and it's kind of, as you can see there, it's kind of an iPad and this is the, I don't know why you can see it there now, the XCN750 is the device itself the kind of software in the device as well and then the nav 500 is the globe on the roof and um, like it's straightforward like it's tells you like you put in the details of the machine the tractor you're driving like the measurements of where the globe is I kind of show it to you here now if i can and um, yeah into this button here Uh, there it is there now, it's uh, TM New Holland I'm using, the model base, it's the 130 base model, it's on the system as, even though it's a TM135, but they don't have a 135 listed on the system. And uh, this part here for guidance, uh, the globe up on the roof, that's where this wire here is going, it's just magnetic mounted to a uh, steel plate on the roof. Um, Wherever that is on the roof, yeah, put in all your details here. The height of the globe from the ground is 10 foot. It's kind of off to one side, but to the front a bit, if that makes sense. But it's uh, offset to the right of the tractor by a foot, and it's a, about a foot and a half for that from the back axle forward. And uh, then you put in how wide your tractor is, like the wheel wheels so with your your whatever's in the back with like the manure shakers on it there now as you can see and um yeah it's very straightforward like when we've all left stuff in just yeah that's put in like that the replace settings for the existing vehicle without the settings save new vehicle change the name below but i'm just leaving that at uh, new holland tm130 because it's basically it is it'd be the same setup really um, to get out of that there now yes this brings us back then to this screen here as you can see we have the there is a KSM XM 140 155 and there's a 6080 on this system because they're all uh, with different tires and that on them and they're all different heights and different settings for each tractor back here's the home here now you see we have the Amazon implement but we ha there is other implements with the 8, eight metre air seeder, we have a sprayer of mulch or power hara, we have the rake and the mowers. It was on the manure shaker there now at the minute, it's easy enough to change. Um, then here you type in the name of whatever field you're, you're in spreading. I just have A1 in there now, just as a quick example, it's nothing major. And uh, then down here, this is the green button here. That's where you start with GPS recording and in there is where you find all your AB lines and all that. Just click into it there now and it'll come to this screen here. As you can see, all them lines there are AB lines. But you don't really, like a lot of time you don't really need to use them. Um, what you do usually is just painting the field in up and down. Like the recording point, you can record the center, left or right of of the implement. Like I'm usually recording in the center there, and it's, it's, you know it's kind of giving me uh, the width each side of what I'm doing. You go with that. Then you've all that there. What position you can like the area is now is what we're on, and that'll kind of give this up here is the acreage. Sorry, I'm not even showing you on the camera, but. Uh, X out that there. Go back home. You see, when that's red, that means it's recording. Just press that again to stop recording. Like it's, it is fairly straightforward. Like there's the A B lines. You just follow them up and down the field. And up here, like I'm stopped here now. Like I'm after finishing spreading a bit of fertilizer there. So I decided to do a quick video. See the way it's 8.3 there now. That says I'm 8, 8 foot 3, 3 inches or 8 foot 4 there now off that red line. 
the red line is the line that I should be following now even though I'm not in the field but that's not the point and the arrows each side here that arrow there going to the right shows I need to turn right and it's like when you turn right you get back on the line you the line going through the center of that tractor that picture of a tractor you see there and that and that there will turn green focus is off there now it's pointing right back there again that eight eight foot tree will turn green and look it's not you'll never be 100 percent accurate without us there but you'll be it'd be a far more it will be far more accurate than if you're trying to do it by eye and when there's no grass in the field it's tricky enough to find to figure out where your last run was and you could be overlapping or you could be missing a half of it and then when it comes to the headland the that there is kind of painting in behind you I'll be able to do that here now even though I'm on a little gravel roadway if I just press that there now, see it's gone green. I just drive forward. Sorry about the shaking, it's there again. And you can see there the way it's painting in that kind of green mark behind me. Now what, I, what I usually do now is instead of having the A B lines up, the them blue and red lines you see there, I I just spread up and then when I come back down have the next green line just matching up to that green line there uh, that is very straightforward I always do one round of the field for spreading and then when I when the spreader kind of comes to that green line in the headlands just before I start turning I turn off the spreader and then when I'm turned back on just as the spreader is about to come off that green line I turn the spreader on again so there's no that's eliminating the big mad overlaps on the headlands like a save it saves a lot of fertilizer and you know it's, it saves all the uneven growth in fields and misses and that like if I like we have the way we have the spreader set up with this GPS there we say there's I think it's two or three foot of uh, two or three foot leeway which means if I'm if I miss a small, like that there, 16 inches now, that's because I moved to show that green line. But if I was going up along the, up along beside that green line now, and I did keep over a small bit and left, leave a bit of a gap, the that 16 inches now was only, it's not a huge amount because with the over, with the kind of bit of an overlap we have, this, set into the spreader or zoom gps like that 16 inches to be eliminated straight away and like that's basically how straightforward it is like it gives you your acres as you can see up here it gives you how fast you're going and then with the a b lines it tells you how many a b lines you have in the field um like there is this gps has another feature here it's turn that off there now this up here as you can see there, that's the steering wheel. That's designed if tractors have all a steer in them. Uh, this tractor doesn't now, but there's another connector right there. That connector there will clip, will clip into any tractor that has all a steer set up in it. And when you go into a field, you just press that button there, like even though it won't do anything now because there's no auto steer set up on it because we don't have all this here and the tractors we're using for this system. Uh, but when you press that button in the field, the automatically the tractor will uh, connect itself to the GPS and the uh, AB lines and it'll sort it'll steer itself up the field up and down the field on the lines and you'll just when you come to the headlines you'll just turn the steer in there and it'll and you just kind of line it back up as close you don't have to be 100 percent accurate but fairly close to the a b line and the tractor will get it'll get back on on the line fairly accurately and like you still with this manure shaker you still have to turn on and off the spinners or the fertilizer at the headlands but like it's simple enough 
when you work the GPS right, when you have the app, the app and the phone I showed you in the last video, and the GPS, when you're, when you're able to work them with each other and set them to the mirror shaker, it eliminates a lot of messing, a lot of misses, and a lot of waste in the fertilizer on the headlands. As I said, once you get the headland, you turn it off, swing around, come back down, match up your line, and turn back on your fertilizer just before you come off the headland line. So that's basic, the basics of the GPS. Um, the globe on the roof now is just it's a round pipe globe, and it's a Nav 500 globe. If any of you want to look that up, or if you want to look up the XCN 750 system, you can. And the globe and roof is just metal plate on the roof, and the bottom of the globe there's four magnets. And as I said, wherever that globe is in the roof, you take your measurements from your back axle and from the centre of the tractor. And how far off the centre of the tractor it is, you will put in here in the vehicle profile, you'll go into the editing part of that. And you put in all your details, it'll ask, uh, it'll ask everything really of how far the globe is from the back axle forward, how far it is off centre of the tractor, how far the implement is behind the tractor, how far the spreading part of the implement is behind the tractor. And basically from there, you'll put all that in and just take it from there and it's, once you get to your field, put in the name of your field, because it's a new field, obviously it'll be, once you put in the new name, It'll bring up a new field straight away. Um, once you want to start spreading, just hit that button there. And you can see we're back to that screen there now again. So that's basically it now for that system. Um, I won't bore you too much with it. But, as I said, I'll do a separate video on it. Like it is... There's not a lot to it. There probably is a lot more that I could explain that I don't know about this system, I just know the basics. And um, that's all I need to know. It'll do me for the, for for what I'm doing with it. And you can see here on this screen, that's your satellite. And that'll tell you how many satellites, 29 satellites is picking up there now, so that'll tell you how accurate it is. So yeah, that's it on the Trimble GPS system. Like it's there's not much more I know about it really. There probably is a heap of more stuff that is in the system. That is, you know, it's probably, as far as I know, this this system will work with anyone that has isobus on the tractors, which will leave it fears handy for spraying, spreading fertilizer, if you have the isobus connections, isobus fertilizer and all that. Like, I don't know much about that, so I'm not going to go into try to know, try to explain that about that because once it goes eyes bust and all that, seeing as I'm not using it with this machine, I don't need to know much about it. But if you're interested in it, you look up the Trimble system. It's the XCN750 and it's a NAV500. And it'll explain more to you there and it'll give you details on who your local supplier of this system is and if you get in contact with them they'll tell you all you need to know about whatever machine you have. So guys we're gonna leave the video at that for today. Um just spreading I was just spreading a bit of fertilizer there and a bit of uh pasture around just for when, the when we get the cattle they'll have something to graze on. I know we have grass at home but it's not just as far on now as I like it to have been, but uh, I'm after spreading the bag of pastures for there or two. I'm doing in a couple of acres just to have the cattle. When we do get them, they'll have something to graze on while the rest of it's coming on. But yeah, that, as I said, was the Trimble GPS system. And it's, as I said before, it's an XCN 750 system, and it has the Nav 500 low up the roof and it's magnetic mountain to the roof. Um, I'm not going to put any link in the description of this video of where it can be got or all that. But all you have to do is Google up Trimble, Trimble Satnav system or Trimble XCN 750 and it will bring you to wherever 
wherever the nearest place, or wherever the, yeah, wherever the nearest place is to the sell in these systems. And if you're interested in purchasing them, I'd recommend them because they have everything you need. They're, as I said, there's all a steer on them, and there is ice bus connection as well. For any of you that is more, as a more modern, larger equipment that uses ice bus and the auto steer, this system has it all. I don't think it's too expensive. So, you look it up yourselves, see what you think. If you like you guys, go ahead and buy it. You can't go wrong. Uh, like the service, the service for it now, we have no problem with the people with the people when they said any problems with balls, we ring them up and then on the ball straight away, no problem. They have us back over the minutes or the phone. So yeah, we'll leave it at that guys. Don't forget. Yeah, don't forget that keep subscribe please. The subscribers are I must be doing something right if you're instead of hitting that subscribe button and hitting the thumbs up. Uh must have something interesting if you like to see uh at home. Like, I know I'm not up there, but like some farmer filled with about 4,000 and all them, and 4,000 subscribers, but look, I'm only starting out, I'm delighted the way it's going. I, I didn't even think I'd be this far on this early. So yeah, guys, if you like the scene, hit the thumbs up button. Comment below, leave a comment on anything you want. Something in this video, something in previous videos, or if you have any questions, ask away and I will get back to you. Even though I said in previous videos I'm doing best capacity, but look, the comments are coming in their hundreds, they're not coming in their thousands. The few comments that are coming in, I am more than happy to reply to you. Um, keep you I want to keep you all happy with me, and if you, you put comments in my videos, if you ask questions, I will reply best I can, and any information you need to know, you ask as well, and I'll give you the information you need if I know it. So yeah, guys, don't forget, thumbs up, Comment the video and don't forget guys, subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it.